Hello, everybody, my people. The last three months has been the most amazing period in my life. Guess what? I bagged an endorsement deal with Ajinomoto. I was really, really excited and I was like, wow, see the trajectory in which my life has gone. After the endorsement deal, they told me, Mr. Man, you are going to New York. And I was like, New York? What? <laughs> I went to New York for the World Umami Forum. Welcome to New York. And we're here for the World Umami Forum. Everyone is here to enjoy and learn about Ajinomoto. And I met 300 world-renowned chefs. These guys are amazing. If you see what they were doing with food, I was like, this same Ajinomoto, this same MSG with the talk, it was really, really amazing. I learned a lot about MSG. And we all know Ajinomoto is a pure MSG. It is made from sugarcane. And it undergoes the natural fermentation process, just like Iru and Dadawa that we are all familiar with. And on that note, I welcome you to Ajinomoto 247, where I will be sharing the most exciting recipe, the popular ones, using the classic, the wonderful, the fifth taste wonder, mm, Ajinomoto. Enjoy the journey. So today I will be making roasted plantains and peppered gizzard. Your food is good, it tastes good, but you ask yourself, why do you need Ajinomoto since you cook good? Um, and the truth to that question is, Ajinomoto would make your food taste better. You know, there's a difference between good and better and best. Yeah, Ajinomoto is that difference. I would be showing you how I would be using my Ajinomoto in the right quantity. What goes into my pot is my gizzard, curry and thyme, just a pinch of them, seasoning cubes. And this is the secret to every good cooking. It is Ajinomoto. It brings out that unique taste. It's called umami. One of the unique things about Ajinomoto is the umami taste. The umami is the fifth taste wonder. It is not salty, it is not sweet, it is not sour, it is not uh, bitter. You can actually find umami in some of these ingredients we use in our day-to-day -day life. You can find umami, very, very key, in tomatoes. People do not understand that Ajinomoto is actually a product that is closer to home than you think. It is made from sugar cane. You eat sugar cane every day. You can actually pick one sugar cane and have a taste of it. And that is fine. That is the same way you can actually use a genomoto in your cooking. Our boil is ready and wow. It looks wonderful. It looks really, really good. So we will just line it up here. Just take it out from the oven. It has been cooking for over 20 minutes. So the next thing we need to do is steal our pepper, our gizzard with our blended pepper and uh, we're going to add in our gizzard and stew it and attach it to our roasted plantains which is cooling down. So our oil is hot enough and the next thing we want to do is add in our pepper and just uh, let it cook for a while. So, if you notice, I blended it in a, in, so it's coarse. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be very, very smooth. You know, you could stew it with smooth pepper, but I like it to have a little bit of, you know, structure and um, bite to it. So, so that has been added, and we will be adding the stock from the gizzard to intensify your flavors, and of course, you have to use Ajinomoto to this if you want that out of the world taste. Cooking is good and you can cook good, but when you want to cook best, when you want to wow people with your culinary skills, I suggest you use this because 
trust me, is like a cheat. And, you know, we, we usually ask, we talk about adding so much of Ajinomoto and just you knowing the right proportion is, is key to making your food taste really, really delicious. And like we all know, it is very, very safe, safe for consumption. And this has been verified by international agencies such as the FDA. So you are drinking apple juice is made from apple, you are consuming a genomoto, it is made from sugar cane. And it is made through the natural fermentation process whereby Iru and Dadawa have been made from. Now, remember we added a bit of a genomoto into this. It is an explosion of flavors when anyone has, when they have a taste of this, because a lot is going on. The stock from the gizzard, with flavors from the gizzard, the uh, natural flavors from the onions, the tomatoes, and uh, the beautiful umami taste that the Ajinomoto food, uh, Ajinomoto seasoning gives the food. This is taking the food to another level. Guys, this is the end product of our label. It's the roasted plantain and the peppered gizzard canopy, you know. And um, the wonderful taste of the gizzard and the pepper all came courtesy Ajinomoto. So please do try this at home and um, explore other means where you could cook with Ajinomoto. But first, try this at home and don't forget to add the secret weapon, the game changer. What is going to make the food have this wonderful fifth umami taste? And it's none other than Ajinomoto.